It's no secret that Dan Snyder is despised as an NFL owner, not just by fans, but also a lot of other NFL owners. Also by the mainstream media, nearly everybody wants Dan Snyder out of Washington, whether it was the Commanders, whether it's the Washington football team, or whether it was the Washington Redskins. But now after all these congressional hearings from the House Oversight Committee have finalized, we are getting a little bit of a story about what happened with Dan Snyder, some of the accusations that have been levied at him after this investigation is complete. And the biggest thing that's being reported today, in my mind at least, doesn't have to do with the toxic work culture of any or any of that garbage. It has everything to do with John Gruden's emails. Because for a long time, people were wondering, who exactly leaked these emails? Was it someone in the NFL to kind of throw the blame onto John Gruden instead of someone like the commanders, instead of an NFL owner? Well, according to this investigation, which take that with a grain of salt, it was the commanders themselves who released this about John Gruden. Commanders leaked John Gruden emails. Dan Snyder, quote, participated in toxic culture per House Committee report. More than a year after kicking off an investigation into the commander's workplace culture, the NFL's own handling of it, the U.S. House of Reps Oversight Committee has released the 79-page final report with its findings, concluding that team owner Dan Snyder, quote, permitted and participated in the troubling conduct that since resulted in fines, lawsuit, and other league discipline. The report also features testimony from Snyder and former Washington President Bruce Allen, who alleges the commanders were behind the leaked emails that led to ex-Raiders coach John Gruden's residence. Designation. The Oversight Committee, which again, the fact that we have Congress investigating things that are happening like in sports, whether it's MLB or NFL, always seems kind of cringe to me, began looking into Washington's conduct in the wake of the Gruden email scandal. Leaving his post in 2021 after New York Times published emails, which Gruden repeatedly used profane and misogynistic language. Fucking pussies. These are dudes talking about stuff behind the scenes in private messages. Uh, the fact that John Gruden got fired for this, left the NFL for this, is fucking pathetic. I'm just going to say that one more time. It's been like a year since we talked about it. The coach often had correspondence with Allen, who worked in Washington's front office. In deposition, Allen testified to a top NFL official who told him the commanders leaked said emails, apparently to fault him and not Snyder, the owner, for their own franchise's hostile workplace environment. Now, again, this is secondhand knowledge from someone working in the NFL who told this to Bruce Allen to say they leaked it to make it look like you were the bad guy and John Gruden got caught up in the crossfire. Allen testified Snyder indirectly warned him not to expose him for his own wrongdoing, both in direct communications and by sending private investigators to his home. Snyder also entertained the idea of using private investigators to gather information on Roger Goodell. Snyder testified to the committee, sworn deposition for 10 hours after refusing invitations to join Goodell at the public hearing. His eventual testimony was, quote, often evasive or misleading. Uh, per the report, championed Washington's reform culture and downplaying his role in alleged workplace misdoings, including sexual harassment. And I I'm not going to read this entire quote because it is putting a lot of it on Dan Snyder, to be honest with you. The NFL punished Dan Snyder in a big way, wouldn't allow him to even do anything with the club, a massive fine for the commander's team, all of these things. Uh, and Dan Snyder, in my mind, is probably going to get forced out by the NFL, going to be forced to sell his team at some point in time, and he'll walk away with billions and billions of dollars. Then people will bitch and moan that he gets to go walk away with billions and billions of dollars after asking that that actually happened to him. And at the end of the day, I don't really care about these couple instances of, oh, the misogyny that happened here. Oh, my gosh. About Dan Snyder's direct involvement in that. I really don't. The a more interesting thing to me is the allegation that the commanders are the ones that leaked the John Gruden emails to maybe cover the rest of the team and put some of the blame on Bruce Allen. But either way, uh, more nonsense happening, more insanity happening with Dan Snyder and the Washington football team, whatever you may call it, Redskins Commanders commanders, whatever. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.